our core conditioning class. Today, guys, we're gonna run through a series of exercises that will challenge your core from several different angles. And I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, all you'll need for today's routine is maybe a towel or a mat for the floor. Uh, also, I wanna use just a, a gallon jug. You could use a chair, a dumbbell. Uh, we're gonna do these single leg overs. And it's, you don't have to have anything there, but it's kinda nice to have something there that you can kinda, kinda see and maneuver around. So, uh, I've got that. Great for just about any fitness level, guys. Let me cover these exercises real quick. Uh, we just talked about the uh, alternating single leg overs. Okay, so when you do this, make sure you have enough room for the lid to come over. So we're just gonna kind of, you're gonna have a tracer leg here. So you, you lead and then you follow, all right, back and forth. Uh, then we're gonna lay back on the back and we're gonna do a leg climb. And uh, we've done these a couple different ways. This one's gonna be um, a three facer. So we're gonna come up, straight up to the ceiling, grab the leg, and then kind of reach opposite hand towards the toe. I don't think you guys are gonna take the toe, we're just getting that reach, okay? Uh, then we're gonna lay on the side. So now another different body position, and we're gonna do these side jackknives. It's kind of like a, a side crunch leg lift. You're not getting a huge range of motion with this, uh, but it's really gonna hit those obliques. It's almost like an oblique uh, leg lift, but you're a little more limited on your range with this one, okay? Uh, then we're laying your back and we're going to do reverse crunch. We'll finish off this with a alternate. We're going to crunch, cross one way, come down, crunch, cross the other way. We'll just keep the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. All right. Uh, let's get started. I've got a timer here, guys. These will be some intervals. Follow along with me. Uh, it'll be very easy to, to kind of see what's going on and follow right along. Um, let's get that there. Let's hit it start. Okay, here we go. We're going to come over, over, and over. Try to get those legs relaxed. Slide this out of the way. So one leg is up. Hands here. We go up. Grab range. Remember, you don't have to hit the toe. Just reach toward it. And it's kind of like three phases. Up. Switch sides. On the side, we've got these side jackknives. You're gonna send the bottom out or tuck it over the abs. I think I'll put it out for right now. And then we're just
switch sides. As soon as you come up, Woo. we'll run back as we have reverse crunch. So we're crunching the hips off the ground. Speed down. This next one, crunch, crossover, come down, crunch, crossover the way. Here we go. Crunch, cross. Try to pull the head here. Let's core do the work. Okay, we have 30 seconds. Go through it one more time. I'm really feeling the abs. I hope you're feeling your core. <clears throat> okay, we're about ready to go here. Here we go. Boy, feeling that core big time here. Woo! Okay, let's go leg climb. Hey. Three phases up, grab, reach.
jackknife. Try to loop those heels a little bit if you can. It'll make the contraction. But I really get those obliques really fired up. Lay back, let's push those hips up. You could put your hands down, I'll put them behind my head. Like in the first round. Here we go. exercise crunch the altering twist okay And that clock, it just keeps you going, right? You don't have too long of a break. It just keeps you moving along through this workout. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you can feel those abs and obliques all kind of working, getting stronger, keeping that core healthy. Thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.